Right, so what we got? Light bar. What? There's no light bar on this. Yeah. Built-in speaker? Nope. Stereo headset jack? No. Vibration feedback? No. And motion sensor? Mm -mm. Not included. (laughs) They printed that on the box? What the fuck? and welcome to this small review of the Hori Mini Gamepad for the PlayStation 4. It's wired! Wired! <laughs> that was a question we got a lot on one of our other controller yeah. videos, so yes, this is definitely 100%, it's wired. 100%. wired. wired. Yeah, anyway, my name's Brendan. <laughs> my name's Nikita. And we're going to take you through this controller today, because you may have seen it come out and thought, ooh, a small PlayStation 4 pad that looks comfy to hold, and, mm. and it's cheap, and... And it's made by a reputable company called yep. Hori. Hori are getting very popular around these ends. They are, yeah. They're, well, PlayStation seem to like them. They've made a few controllers for them. So, yeah, so let's get right into it then. This is the Hori Mini PlayStation 4 pad. As you can see, they've managed to cram pretty much everything you'd expect everything to need. Everything you're going to need, yeah. On a PlayStation 4 pad, except for all the things that they listed that aren't <laughs> included on the box. Why would they do that? I think, right, let me just clear something up for you guys right now. <laughs> What this controller is for, in my opinion, is for the younger ones out there. The, the You know, parents, if you've got kids that are getting into video games and yes. perhaps they're uncomfortable holding the big controllers, yes. this is kind of a great stepping stone it for is, a kid. Yeah. Or someone with incredibly small hands. Really that tiny hands. The, the controller's difficult to hold anyway. But there are some pros and cons to this and we'll be getting to those shortly. So, first of all, the cable. I'm just going to... I'm just. We mentioned it's wired. I'm just going to un- unwrap this. <gasps> He's unwrapping the oh, wire! I'm unwrapping the wire. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, talk amongst yourselves whilst I try and... Uh, try the critical and get these... moment of unwrapping the wire. It's amazing that we've come to 2017 and most people are just used to wireless controllers. Yeah. You end up having a load of wired controllers about. It's like, what is this? So, if you take that end, like, and we can... We can oh, we can actually out. show. Can... Oh, yeah, hey, the, hey, that's really long. The cable's very long. That's really so long. It, does it yeah, say on the box how long the cable is? Yeah, but is? careful, it doesn't say. Actually, it's not this length. <laughs> <laughs> it probably says somewhere on there, but it, it's about what? About two, two and a half meters? And, and Actually, rest. probably about I three meters. I think it's about three meters. Three, three or four meters. So, three meters out of this. Yeah. yeah, so unless you're like, you know, gaming in, in like another a, room. In like a cinema or something, which, you know, hats off to you. Yeah. But. No, you're not going to have right. any cable troubles. This and it's, is one thing I hate about other controllers when they've got tiny wires. Yeah, and like, tiny, and you're sat next to the TV. So uh, that, that's the cable anyway. Right, let's have a look at this then. So what have we got? What we have is a D-pad. We've got, obviously, your four fascia buttons. We've got your share button. You've got your, your start button, your options button, PlayStation button, and the t- <laughs> this, <laughs> this, oh. <laughs> this tiny little... Uh, <laughs> This this is actually a touchpad button. Yeah. Okay. Now, the touchpad <laughs> button, this thing does something weird. And honestly, I couldn't actually get it to work that well when I tried to use it. But um, you hold this little button down here called TP, uh, touchpad. <laughs> <clears throat> Basically, you hold that for a couple of seconds. And then the, the sticks become... Like you can move a cursor with the stick kind of thing. And, mm-hmm. and, and if you press and hold the button, you can move the stick to the left or the right and click and it does the button le- basically if you bought this expecting to use it for a touchpad just don't just don't, don't. just not at all don't do that that is exactly not, <laughs> not what it's for no. <laughs> um, it's got those buttons that functionality just to say that yeah you can you if can. you really need it you can just do it for a second and and it it kind of works. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you got all the buttons. So, literally, that's it. There is nothing fancy about this at all. I'm just going to take you around the top because you've got the, the, the shoulder buttons. There's no triggers on this, obviously. They're literally just just chunky buttons. Just literally chunky buttons. I like the click on the, uh, on the, the triggers. Click. Oh, well, don't, don't say that. People oh, don't like no. clicks. They... People don't like... You know, What's Microsoft, wrong with Microsoft invent, uh, like, invested an absolute ton of money into developing buttons that don't click that much. Don't make noise. Yeah. They've got to be satisfying to press, but without making noise. That's the satisfying part. I know, right? But people, yeah. I mean, people don't like that. Oh. I love that. Oh, listen. That's great. I like that. That's great. I don't, anyway. Okay. So, yeah. Personal that, preference. <laughs> so that is literally 
the the Hori pad. There's literally nothing fancy about it. It's a small pad that's got most of the PlayStation 4 pads functionality crammed into its tiny fascia. <laughs> um, but yeah, I suppose we better plug this in and let's give it a go. Yeah, let's play some games. Okay, so this is me testing out the controls on Call of Duty. Uh, I know I'm <laughs> being a bit adventurous here. So I'm basically just gently just touching the stick just to try and give you an idea of the sensitivity here. Like, it's quite sensitive. Um, it, it, the sticks feel nice and tight. It's uh, it's pretty decent. Um, however, right there, did you see that? Like, my thumbs uh, touch each other because of the, the closeness of the sticks. So it's really not comfortable to play a first person shooter with this controller. I mean, it's not bad, but it's really not great either. <laughs> so, I mean, the accuracy of it, I felt, you know, it was very accurate. Oh, that was another thing. I, I reached for the touchpad button, um, in the middle, but I kept hitting the pause button by accident. Because uh, it's quite a reach over to the uh, to the middle button there, so that was a bit of an issue, but uh, not too bad. Like I said, the accuracy feels really good, um, but it can be very uncomfortable when your thumbs touch and quite off-putting. Uh, but functionality-wise, the controller works well. It's just not great for big hands. I've got pretty big hands, so this controller is not ideal for me. Okay, so here I am playing some Slain, um, and basically this this was to test out the D-pad. So I'm checking out the D-pad here because uh, obviously this is uh, the kind of game that I would expect to play on this kind of pad. Um, it's definitely not suited to first-person shooters, but for Slain, you know, it works pretty well. I mean, basically this thing's a glorified SNES controller. Um, <laughs> with a few extra buttons on it, so it works pretty well for this. And uh, again, like if you've got small hands and want to play platforming games that are available on the PlayStation Four, then this is a pretty good use for it, for definite. Okay, so lastly here, I've got a 2D fighter from Japan, and. Uh, Basically, this is just going to really test the D-pad and see if it's any good for fighting games. Um, and it's okay. It's it's not too bad. Uh, it's not the best D-pad, I will be honest. Um, I'm pretty certain this, this thing is literally suited to... I don't know, just like smaller games on the PSN network, uh, platforming games and stuff like that. I mean, I, I can pull off these moves like okay I mean it registers well enough um, I think the the problem here was my thumb like felt like it was slipping around too much on the d-pad and there wasn't much um, feedback uh, to me on whether I was pressing it correctly or not it's um, it, like the the profile of the d-pad is fairly fairly shallow um, the only other thing I'm gonna mention here is that uh, I'm not going to do any uh, games like driving games or anything like that because with driving games you need triggers and the buttons on this controller are literally just buttons so you won't get any acceleration or, or brake control out of this controller at all. It's definitely not what it's designed for. So yeah, I mean, it's good. Uh, works okay as a, a, a fighting pad, but I probably wouldn't use it because my hands are too big and this controller is way too small for me. <laughs> Right, so we're back after playing some games, and like we tested a couple there, and uh, hopefully that showed you the breadth of it. Um, <laughs> but basically, we ran into a few problems, didn't we? Yeah. So first of all, the sticks are very close together, and my thumbs kept bashing into each other when I was playing Call of Duty. Yeah. And it, I mean, not all of the time, but like it just when it did happen, I was like, ugh. They've got <laughs> my thumbs touched. <laughs> it's made for a T Rex. I yeah, mean, exactly. seriously, yeah. like what, what is this? But. Is as well. They've got no rubber grips. No, there's no there's so, no rubber on that. Whatsoever. Like normally, you'd think. Well, at least they're going to stay rigid and on the joysticks. They don't. They slip about. No. Now, what I could say is, yeah, I have no doubt that control freaks would probably fit on these, but there's no point because control freaks uh, freaks make the 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 sticks taller. Yeah. They've got the nice rubber on the top, but 
You make I mean, them tall. You make them tall. They're going to lean over. For, your, your thumbs are going to be. Yeah. You're going to be all up in your thumbs. You're going to be all up in your. <laughs> you're going to be all thumbs. Yeah. So there's literally. It's not. It's not a control no. of that at no, all. No, it's not. Honestly, I'd say the 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 perfect use for this controller would be for uh, platform games. Yeah. I think it's useful for that. The D pad is okay. I mean, it's better than some D pads that I've used, but uh, for fighting games, I found it a little bit difficult pulling off some of the moves that <clears throat> I normally could pull off quite easily. Yeah. Um, but there's nothing wrong with the buttons. The buttons are all... No, the buttons are nice. The buttons, buttons feel fine. good. Triggers are okay. Yeah. Um, but in bigger hands, um, it's quite difficult to hold. Okay, from like <clears throat> the other perspective as well, I have kind of small hands. I'd mm -hmm. like to think they're kind of small in comparison. Here you go, yeah. comparison of hands here. <laughs> and even my hand, I found when I was holding it in particular, it was this part of my palm just kept hitting. It was like the way I was kind of gripping it. I guess it's be being more used to bigger <clears throat> controllers, which I get, this is what this is. It's yeah. supposed to be a small controller, but it meant that I was trying to grip it in a way that I would for a normal controller, and it was, and just, it was just all like... In a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, basically, in summary, this is a cheap wired controller yeah. that works very well. It's to the point. But it's not it's not for you guys it's no. not it's not for you like it's not. literally buy it give it to your kid that's like interested yes. in playing games and uh, is curious wants to have a go mm -hmm. um and in that it, it it doesn't look scary you know no, it's like it's kids, nice kids, it's kids small pick that up and it's give simple like, exactly yep. also because it's a playstation 4 controller you could quite happily plug it into your pc as well there's, there's plenty of pc platforming games and all that kind of stuff yep. like 2d platformers that you could plow through with this quite comfortably and it definitely works for that mm -hmm. for platforming games brilliant and for child friendly yeah brilliant totally but if you're going to have some hardcore sessions on call of duty on this no think don't, again. don't do that <laughs> but um yeah perfect for a kid uh, to get involved and it's not going to break the bank but um, yeah if you <laughs> yeah, don't use it for anything any any serious gaming and <laughs> maybe you, you, to be fair you might want to invest in some you can get some, get some small rubber, grips. rubber yeah. grips Yeah. maybe not control freaks but definitely some just some something just on there something. something to stop stop the kiddies fingers from slipping off stop you know slipping. but yeah so that is the hoary mini pad for the PlayStation 4 I hope you enjoyed that little rundown of uh, all of its Lack of features, um, and uh, Ooh, burn. yeah, <laughs> oh, sick burn. Sorry, I, I do like Hori products. I do. Yeah. It's, it's a good product. It's I a like good it. product. It's just, it's just not. For it's us. for kids. <laughs> yeah, it's for, it's for kids. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, don't forget to smash the old like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I've been Brent. I've been Nikita, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. bye. Way you got to the end of the video. I know it's sad, but don't worry. There's lots more content on the channel everywhere. Click over here or just go to our channel and the peruse. There's so much stuff. We put everything into neat little playlists that are all labeled with beautiful titles. Spend hours doing it so you can find stuff. <laughs>